Hello, healthy friends. In this video, we will discuss 7 tips on how to weigh yourself correctly and accurately. Please watch the video until the end. Frequent weighing helps you monitor the results of your diet program. Frequent weighing is also important for those who want to maintain an ideal weight. Even so, changes in the numbers on the scales may not be accurate. The results of body weight scales are influenced by when you weigh yourself, how often you weigh yourself, and how you weigh yourself. Let's find out how. The right time to weigh yourself. Weighing should be done in the morning after waking up. Ideally, weigh yourself before breakfast and after a bowel movement. When weighing during the day, the results of the scales can show a larger number. This is because the body already has food intake, drinks, and digestive waste. For those of you who are on a diet and have a cheating day at the weekend, weigh yourself in the middle of the week, such as Wednesday. However, weighing in the middle of the week is only sometimes a benchmark for accurate diet weight. How to weigh yourself correctly. After choosing the right time, you must know how to keep your weighing results accurate. Follow these steps. 1. Weigh yourself every week. It's best to avoid weighing every day. This is because water levels in the body can change daily, affecting weight. Weight can change throughout the week when the body experiences water weight gain or retains more water. This happens when you eat foods high in salt, drive long distances, or experiencing premenstrual syndrome. Increased water content in the body can increase your weight by 1 to 2 kilograms per day. For this reason, weighing yourself should be done weekly in the morning. 2. Wear light clothing when weighing yourself. Measuring weight should be done naked. This method can show more accurate weighing results. If you want to wear clothes, wear very light clothes, for example, those made of thin material and not in layers. Thick clothing, especially with footwear, will add weight to your body so that the weighing results do not show the actual results. 3. Weigh yourself at the same time. When weighing yourself, choose the same time and day. You should also always wear light clothing and the same weighing device. For example, you can weigh yourself every week, at 6 a.m. before breakfast and after a bowel movement. Weight can go up and down by about 1 kilogram in a day. If you weigh yourself in the morning and the next week in the afternoon, the two results cannot be a proper comparison. 4. Place the scale in a flat place. How you place the scale also affects the results of weight measurements. The right way to weigh yourself is to put the scale on a hard, flat surface. Avoid putting the scale on a carpet or uneven surface because it can move the scale needle before weighing it. After placing the scale on a hard and flat surface, always set the scale so that the needle is at zero without any objects on it. 5. Choose a digital scale. This way of weighing yourself is optional. You can choose a digital scale to get more accurate results. Regular scales rely only on arrows and number lines so the measurement results can be imprecise or inaccurate. Meanwhile, digital scales provide more specific body weight measurements. 6. Combine with other measurement methods. Besides weighing yourself, there are other ways to measure your body, such as body mass index, BMI, waist to hip ratio, and skin folds. Combining these methods can give you a more accurate body condition. BMI waist to hip ratio and skin fold measurements take into account height body part size and fat distribution the number on the scale does not give a full body condition to be more accurate you can visit a nutrition clinic to measure your muscle mass and body fat levels seven weighing by measuring waist circumference apart from using a scale we can also weigh ourselves by measuring our waist circumference the trick is to measure your waist circumference using a measuring tape and compare it with a standard table. If your waist circumference is above the recommended number, then you are at a higher risk of developing metabolic diseases such as diabetes and heart disease. Weighing yourself is important. However, you should maintain your daily nutrition by eating a complete diet. Remember, you don't have to be concerned with your weight all the time. Always set realistic goals when maintaining your ideal weight or losing weight. Alright healthy friends, that's 7 tips on how to weigh yourself correctly and accurately, hopefully the information is helpful for you. If you care about health and like the topic of videos about health, please click the subscribe button and turn on the bell ringing button, as proof of your support for developing this channel.
Please click the next video at the end of this video to find out more health information. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.